I wish it were 8 o'clock. It's almost my bedtime. Uh, it's 7 o'clock. My name is Clarence Keesman. I welcome you to the Refuge. Um, anybody who's first time being in the facility? A bunch of you. Welcome. I'm the Executive Director and uh, tonight's moderator for the debate, uh, the Mayoral Candidates Debate. Um, here's how the evening's going to shape up. Um, we are going to have some opening comments, uh, about two minutes each. We took a draw earlier to determine the order of who would present first and second, etc. You'll follow the same order for the closing statements. Then I have a series of questions, and most of the questions actually came from the youth that come here every day. Um, at which point then, we will also open uh, after that about 8 o'clock in around there, questions from the floor. Um, there are some question sheets back there if you are not bold enough to ask a question yourself or a little intimidated by a microphone, and that's completely fine. Pass the questions up to me and I'll read them at that time. If you want to ask a question yourself, simply raise your hand at that time and I will come over to you and give you the mic. This is not a, uh, a, uh, a form by which to make speeches. Is simply to ask questions. It is not a forum by which to degrade characters and attack people's individual characters. This is about issues, issues in Oshawa, and issues that relate to homelessness. Um, one other item of housekeeping, if you need to use the washroom, there's a washroom right before the exit sign. The door locks automatically because we need to control who goes in and out of a washroom in this facility to, you know, little deals that might happen in the court and we want to prevent that. Um, so take the key with you and bring it back when you're done. Okay, um, so tonight um, we're going to be talking about Oshawa. Oshawa's a great city. I mean, we're a manufacturing hub and have been so since uh, Colonel Sam started the McLaughlin Motors Company in, in, in 1907. We have a fantastic Junior A hockey team, Go Generals. Yes, all right. We have uh, a world class college and, and university. We have fantastic gardens. I enjoy the gardens every time, uh, both the, the municipal and the, the residential gardens. And of all things, we are, Oshawa is the home to the very first quarter marathon in Canada. Yeah! Okay, that's, that's really the shameless plug for the refuge. We want to run a quarter marathon fundraiser every year. But yes, it is the first one, and it started here in Oshawa. But Oshawa is not without its troubles. Uh, we have one of the higher property tax rates in amongst cities in Ontario of similar size. Unemployment, in particular youth unemployment, is an issue. Um, homelessness and prostitution is an issue in our community as well. Now, the Refuge has been working to address some of these issues regarding homelessness and, and youth homelessness, and it has been doing so since 1999. We're a charitable organization. We work with homeless and street-involved youth, not just in Oshawa, but across the Durham region. Last year, we saw 429 different young people who came to the refuge 9,658 times. Last year, in 2013, we served 12,027 meals in this space, which is a fantastic amount. Where do they come from? Many of the youth, 92%, uh, have a history of sexual or physical abuse in their past. 78% uh, grew up in the care of, uh, as a crown ward in the care of CAS. Many of them are addicted to substance abuse just to deal with the pain in their own life, but all of them are looking for a way out, but most and many don't know how. And that's what we do. We provide meals, we provide clothing, uh, like programs, personal hygiene, and you name it. But above all things, we're a place that they're loved, nurtured, encouraged, safe, and belong, a home in a community in which to heal. That's what the refuge is. Some of the questions will address those things tonight, but tonight we're talking about Oshawa and issues that relate to it. And in under a week, you will need to make a decision as to who you want the leadership of this community to be. Less than a week. We are privileged to have six mayoral candidates here tonight um, to answer questions so you can understand their platform, that you can ask questions as well. So I'm gonna introduce them at this time. Okay, first candidate, uh, according to alphabetical order, Lou DeBono was identified as a leader at a very young age in high school when the school gave him the distinguished designation of being the single worst influence on the student body as a whole. <laughs> Now, fast forward to today. Bill currently leads Canada's largest Support Our Troops event, 
the Heroes Highway Ride and Rally. His background is construction, in which he believes it gives him a unique perspective on moving our city forward with vision and passion. Please welcome Lou DiMotto. Our next candidate, John Gray. John served uh, two terms as mayor in 20, 2003 to 2010, uh, led the city to invest in major renewal projects, attracted new private sector investments to Oshawa, uh, and has held a series of round tables with outside business leaders. Um, partnered with the University of Ontario, or uh, University of Ontario Institute of Technology to locate a new campus downtown, refurbished the Civic Auditorium, uh, built fire, fire hall number five to address fire safety issues, uh, has been not a stranger to the refuge at all uh, when in his term as mayor. Used to uh, come here on a regular basis. So please welcome John Gray. Uh, John Henry, next candidate, has served the Oshawa community as mayor from 2010 to the present and regional councillor 2006 to 2010. He believes that being an elected official is a privilege and passionately serves the citizens and the city. John is a su successful 25-year business owner and employer. He dedicates his time and energy to resources to a number of charitable organizations, such as the Rotary Club of Oshawa, the Robert McLaughlin Art Gallery. He has a deeper understanding of issues in the community due to his comprehensive city and regional community or committee membership. John and his wife, Catherine, a pharmacist, have two daughters. Danielle, who attends the University of Western Ontario, and Jessica, serving uh, a serving officer with the Royal Canadian Navy, attending RMC. Please welcome John Henry. <laughs> Bill. Bill Longworth uh, is our next candidate. Actually, I don't have an intro for you, but I can, <laughs> I can say this. <laughs> impressed me because he said uh, he might be late because he was attending his granddaughter's birthday. But he made his granddaughter's birthday to come here tonight, so please welcome Bill Longworth. <laughs> Rosemary McConkie. Rosemary is a University of Toronto graduate and local businesswoman who has owned and operated her own independent real estate brokerage for over 25 years. She has lived with her husband and three daughters in Oshawa for over two decades has been involved in a variety of issues before Oshawa and Regional Council for several years. In addition to her numerous awards and recognitions, Rosemary is a recipient of the 2012 Queen's Diamond Jubilee Award, which recognizes her outstanding community achievements. Her comprehensive knowledge of the city's physical environment, awareness of current issues in the community, and acute understanding of future regional planning make her transition uh, to mayor relatively easy. Please welcome Rosemary, Rosemary McConkie. <laughs> and finally, um, last candidate, Chris Topple. Chris is a lifelong Oshawa resident and graduate of Durham College and York University. For five years, he worked for the Member of Parliament and members of Provincial Parliament of Oshawa, and since 1995 has operated a small business representing injured and ill workers to various provincial and federal tribunals. 